My name is Annette and I am originally from Detroit. I moved to Houston uh, 15 years ago and fell in love with the city. Um, I feel like Houston is a melting pot of culture and diversity and I levitate towards that and um, I love it. I love the southern hospitality and especially the food and the Astros. <laughs> I used to ride an SE bike and I transitioned into the e-bike because I really wanted to dive into every facet of the bike scene. Um, my next bike I'm going to get a fixie so that I can uh, you know, get involved with that scene as well. Um, I love it. I love the sense of unity. I love the different speeds. Um, I really love going fast. <laughs> so the e-bike kind of gives me that adrenaline rush. Um, that's the reason why I'm also kind of going into the fixie as well. The bike community is so embracing. There's such a sense of unity. Um, although I'm not from Houston, I have always been treated like I've been here my whole life. It's just like a family and there's so many different walks of life that are out on the bike scene. Everyone supporting each other. Um, I love it. I love the fitness journey that people are going on. I love that people do rides for mental health, um, for so many great causes, and you know, really support the city and represent the city well. Go faster <laughs> and further. I love the longer rides. I think they really stand out. Um, there was a ride I did with um, Luminous Nightcrawlers and um, Champagne Manny and I Love Selena License Plate um, for MLK Day. And that, since I've been here in Houston, that was the most culturally um, enriched bike ride that I've ever been on and it to this day is one of my favorite. One of my really good friends is a graffiti artist. He painted one of the murals at the mural wall um, of one of the legends here from Houston. And uh, I love how the art is allowing people to stop in downtown and really take in the beauty that is in the downtown skyline. You know, I love uh, the expression. There's a lot of the murals um, from street art for mankind that represent childhood hunger, it represents, you know, domestic abuse. There's a lot of meaning behind a lot of the murals and uh, I love that. Families are embraced. If I, you know, had children, I would start out with like Bayou City Riders. They're very family oriented um, and they do the slower rides, which would help with the kids kind of catching up, maybe even Ratchet Riders because they go at a, a slower pace, um, which would be easy to kind of get acclimated with um, the pace, the rules, and, you know, listening to the leaders.
think there should be more respect for the writers on the road. I feel like people are in such a hurry to get places that um, there's not a lot of respect given to the bike riders, and I'd like to see a little bit more of that. It's not, you know, the bicyclists against, um, you know, the drivers. It's we're all on the roads, we're sharing the roads, and we should be considerate of each other. I'd like to give a shout out to the Houston Rippers. I wish they would come back with their Tuesday rides. Um, they were one of the pioneers on the bike scene when, the, when it first came out, and I'd like to see them make a comeback, actually. Spread the love. Let's support each other and let's embrace unity. Um, it's not about competition and who's bringing out the most people. It's about us riding as one. We are one and we need to come together on the bike scene about that.